Hey guys, we're back here, and we do in fact have the trailer for the new banner. Uh, I actually ended up recording this before, but well, tried to, but for some reason it didn't record. But you know, things happen. But anyway, we do have to get to winter. I've already seen the trailer, so I'm gonna kind of show do this now. I'm gonna talk about kind of everything that's sort of happening with this and a bit later. So yeah, I mean, the good news is this is fits or wickening. I mean. I know a lot of people are complaining about that, but it says yeah, it's going to go fine. Spring holiday cheers to all. Our special heroes are coming to battle. So the first one is the holiday deer. Do you think I'll get any? And yes, we have an arm. We have Faye, who is of course the armored dragon. And with this, you can kind of make an armored dra dragon team. Also, she's kind. Of I comment that she is sort of cute, cute. And the other the cool for is with. When she transforms as well. I don't think I'm not sure if anyone's really gonna pick that up. Presents? Well point of night. Mm, I hope I do. She has Adlers. Also this opponent has a Christmas tree. So her skills are, and I've noticed this on the trail the dream for the trailer, is that they are also implement telling us new skills through the exclamation mark. We have attack you have clear breath, so during combat, boosts units defense and resistance back the number of allies within two spaces times two, number of icons. If those ranges equal and you know standard dragon zone refinement. She also comes with Luna. That's also not, not bad. She is vengeful fighter, so if you need to speed up above 50%. And Anthem when she is combat, grants special code and plus one per attack and unit is guaranteed to make a follow-up does not stack. And armored march free. Considering what this banner is, yeah, that's just kind of skill to hop around. So that's... Oh, that. Yeah, there it is. Her transformation also brings her... gives her antlers. Which is cute. And I just have to point out... So I can only go back to that kaboom. If I can. Oh, there we go. I mean, that's... That's quite adorable. Right, back to the next one. So our next one is... Sparky Gallantly. It's tough to move it's around. It's effort. Here, but this holiday getup is good on defense. On the other point, he does look like he could be a Santa for, battlefield, for the battlefields. No, I'm sorry, Chrome, but I think I prefer this Santa... Not the fighter than you, uh, or Rob, uh, but you know personal preference, and I'm gonna go against that. And this one has come light, but we, let's see, we have and of course we have Fessa Sig Sigmund, so a salary special cooldown on for if unit is not adjacent to now. Light grants attack, grants basically all stats plus four during combat. Dragon Fang, then attack, defense solo if unit is not adjacent to an ally. Grants attack. Is it attack, defense plus six turn combat, both fighter, also has both fighter, and then close guard. So overall, I can see him definitely being a good fight. Or um, definitely if you have allies two spaces away as opposed to just the six being right next to him. So yeah, I'll take it. That's a nice effort. And of course with the cooldown, it's an honor good thing. I got you something. Also, they're starting to show a lot of damage. And gentle as the snow. This best it is an armor uh, it is an armor healer. It's Erica. And I like her stuff. And of course she has she is definitely more personal. I definitely like her a bit more. The hearts of all who attend. So yes. So he has the joyous on her start of turn, grass defense, attack. Resistance plus five to an ally with a high stack for a turn, excluding unit. And then damage store plus. Plus, so that's. And then, then we have Heavenly Light, that's in stuff, on attack opening, which is the new skill. Which is, by the way, at the start of a turn, grants plus six attack to an ally with the highest attack for one turn, excluding herself. This is in Joyce Long Term. A support armored unit. That's scary. That's scary. But she's also gentle. I have no idea what to think about it. And of course, the two enemy 
This enemy here also decides that we're going to count the light. I wonder if they're saying something. So yeah, we have our center trailer for the power log. And of course, just to throw up here. Yes, we are getting Cecilia as a Tempest Child Award. And for the Tempest Child, we also have the the Fierce Stance and Seal. And I can't remember the other one, but yeah. Until we get, I get until we see what uh, Cecilia does, uh, I should I think right now if this if she is not renewed, then this is purely an armor apocalypse. But we'll have to wait and see. And of course, you can see in sort of the trip, the time and stuff here. But I kind of want to hear some of your guys' thoughts on this one. So let me know in the comments on that. And I obviously be back in this game when the banner comes up. And we'll summon. And I'll probably try. It. Need to get one of them for the Tempest Child. Which, by the way, if you have any of the older Christmas units, they are viable in this Tempest Child because they are bonus units. However, just to kind of talk for me, uh, I'm pretty sure I won't, I won't be going for the Uriga Armor Healer. Can't really complain about much. And I still think the adorable one is Little Faye here. And Ephraim is just a sound that I probably don't want to be in the battlefield. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.